points on a lot of different uh, conversations that I was probably more contributing in a, in a strategic way before. Um, so and then my focus was a little bit um, more narrow in scope before and obviously taking on, you know, I was primarily brought in to oversee uh, research and development and player development. So did a lot of early work there and now it's obviously a lot more, a lot broader. And so I've had an opportunity to really um, talk to and get to know a lot more people throughout the organization, but also on the conversations, you know, talking to teams all the time about potential trades and agents about free agents. So it's just, just grown in scope. I really like JD Davis. Um, you know, he's someone that can really hit and, um, you know, obviously we can have him under control for a while. He's a very valuable player to our organization. So, you know, I don't see, I know there's been a lot of rumors out there. I mean, we're going to always look for ways to improve the team in any way we can, but I'm, f we're fully comfortable with going into the season with JD Davis um, playing an important role on our club. We subscribe to the uh, never can have too much pitching cliche. Um, you know, I've seen that uh, in my years with the Red Sox where the, the fastest way for your season to uh, go sideways or, or backwards um, is to have, you know, run out of, not have quality pitching depth or to have too many injuries there. You always have to expect some level of injuries there. So um, increasing our depth is always something that I, th I think we'll be pursuing. It doesn't mean we're not happy with the guys we have. I am happy with the guys that we have and um, excited to see them in camp uh, very shortly. I'd like to add some more pitching, which could, you know, creates competition, could be someone that's in our top five, could be someone that, um, you know, someone else gets that opportunity. Uh, obviously with, with Noah out for some time, uh, having, you know, I feel really good about a lot of the pitchers in our rotation, um, but to have, you know, either a bridge to him or just to have more depth, I think is, is something it's not limited to just looking outside of the top five. As far as who's starting and who's playing, you know, obviously Louis um, has a big part in, in that conversation. So I'm not gonna start talking about naming people starters. Um, Dom obviously has been a very good hitter. He has, the, the fact that he's moved from first out to the outfield gives him more versatility. I know it's something that he wants to continue to work on and that's something that uh, Tony Tarasco will be working on with him has already started working with him and talking through those things with him. Well, the way I'm looking at the rest of, you know, the off season, which nowadays the off season starts to bl blur into spring training. Um, you know, I wanted us to be opportunistic where we've positioned ourselves where we can be opportunistic. I think there's some areas, as you've seen, we've done some moves lately to improve the depth of our club. Um, you know, I think that's an area where we'll still focus. And if there's opportunities to add more impact, we'll explore that as well. So, I mean, I think we need to be, always be relentless in trying to find ways to improve the club. It certainly had its ups and downs. Um, you know, obviously, I know it's very public that I was interviewing for the GM job. And so, you know, not getting that was a disappointment. Uh, but I was still very excited to... Uh, joined the organization, very excited about, you know, through that process, getting to know Sandy, getting to know Steve Cohen, um, very excited about where, how they were positioned and, and what they were all about. I, we, we aligned very well on values uh, in terms of organizational values and kind of some philosophies. Um, so I was very excited to join, even make a lateral move to jump from a place where I was really happy and comfortable and been for over 17 years. So it took a lot for for me and for my family to, you know, to make this decision to kind of disrupt our lives and take a chance by coming, coming to the Mets and, but it's something we're really excited about. Um, and then, yeah, so started in one role and then obviously things changed and that's, you know, unfortunate. One of the reasons I, I joined the Mets is obviously I had a long professional relationship with, with Jared and he's a good friend of mine. Um, and so obviously it's unfortunate what happened there. And so then, you know, my role changed again. Um, but I'm eager to step up and do whatever it takes to help the organization. That doesn't change my mindset. It was always that when I joined, <clears throat> it's just a, a slightly different role now.